<clears throat> Hi everyone, welcome to Module 4. In Module 4, we're going to be focused on the role of fiscal policies and the Fed. As we learned in Module 3, we looked at aggregate demand and changes in aggregate demand, and we used that model to see how governments, I'm sorry, and to see how our economy will stabilize given the focus of that model. And when we look at this week, we're going to be focused on the role of the Fed. And the Fed's very important to our economy as the Fed contains a lot of important policies that they can do to influence both GDP and the price levels. So some of the things that we're going to look at here in terms of learning objectives, explain the role of money and how it's measured in the United States, define the Federal Reserve and how it controls the money supply, Identify fiscal policy measures and its influence on GDP and the price level. And determine fiscal policy targets. For this week, you're going to read chapters 14 and 16. Chapter 14 is going to be looking at the function of money. When we look at the function of money, we're going to be focused on the role of the Fed and how the Fed controls the stability of our economy through changes in the level of interest rates. The level of interest rates are concerned about changes in the money supply. And then in chapter 16 we're going to be looking at fiscal policy. Fiscal policy is going to be focusing on the way the government implements both short and long-term goals. And when we look at both short and long-term goals you'll notice that fiscal policy has a lot of challenges. And one of the challenges fiscal policy is facing is how to deal with economic fluctuations, and I think that's a very important thing to evaluate, how to deal with fluctuations. You will have now milestone number two, and with milestone number two, it's going to be dealing with fiscal policy. You're going to go back to that 10-year uh, historical period that you chose in module one. If you would like to change it, you can change it as well. You're going to be looking at uh, information and three to five new slides for your presentation. You want to be able to re make sure to read the mi mi Milestone 2 guidelines to ensure that you're focused on each aspect in what you're presenting in your slides. So for the project, you're going to submit the presentation and you want to make sure to have detailed speaker notes. So let's look at the project and what is, how you're being graded. You're going to examine various fiscal policies. Fiscal policies deal with two things, taxes and government spending. And you want to consider the level of spending, taxes, unemployment benefits, the use of subsidies. But the thing that you'll find the most information on is government spending and taxation. You're going to analyze new fiscal policy actions that are undertaken by the government. And what are their effects? What are their intended effects? And what are their actions? So the actions they're going to be looking at focusing on, and what are the effects that they're trying to uh, trying to uh, trying to achieve? For example, if you're looking at uh, increased government spending, the effect is they're trying to do expansionary policies to help the economy be able to grow. Now you want to explain the impacts of the new fiscal policy actions on both individuals and businesses within the economy by integrating data. So if you tell me there was increase in spending, you should be able to show that with increases in GDP or decrease in the unemployment rate. You're going to be using three to five slides. It does not include the title page and reference page. You want to make sure to have detailed speaker notes. And you want to make sure that your references and slides are in APA format. I'm grading you on the following components. Did you examine fiscal policy measures? Does your policies that you identified make sense and do they relate? What are the impacts of their me measures and how did you articulate? Meaning, how did you articulate given the response, grammar, that kind of uh, impact? Okay, let's go back here. You also have the Module 4 homework. You have the readings, the milestone, the MyEconLab work, which you have three attempts. 
If you need me to pre-grade your milestone project, please let me know as I'm more than willing to assist. Send it to me through email. I can provide comments, feedback, really assist with your effort. If you have any more additional questions, please let me know, but I look forward to your effort.